What's up guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder. Today we're going to check out a port of the Xperia Z2's launcher that you can run on your Nexus 5. Now this soft mod requires root, although it's really not that hard to get going. But for download links and a full tutorial, not to mention a bunch of other cool stuff including guides to get you rooted in the first place, be sure to hit the link in the description below. With this one you'll need to move a couple of files to the system partition, which is where root comes in. So open up your favorite root enabled file browser, then navigate to the files that you downloaded from my article. You can find those on your SD card under download. First up, copy this XML file, then head to the root directory. Navigate to system slash etc slash permissions and paste it here. Speaking of permissions, you'll need to set those to match the rest of the files in this directory. So if you sneak a peek at the permissions of some other random file in here, you'll know what to use for our newly copied file. Then long press the Sony Mobile file that we just moved over here and go to permissions. Set these to match the one that we just checked out. Now head back to your download folder and grab the jar file. Copy this one over to the system slash framework folder. Again check out something else in here to peek at its permissions. Set the permissions of the Sony Mobile file to match those. And now you're done with the root stuff. Just head back to your download folder and tap this home.apk file. If it asks, yeah, tell it to install. Once installation is complete, you'll have to reboot. But I've already got this installed on my personal Nexus, so we can check it out. Really, it's just a launcher. Nothing groundbreaking. But it's definitely nice and polished. The app drawer is pretty cool, though. You get this slide-out menu if you swipe all the way left. It's got things like App Search and a link to the Play Store. And there's several different ways to organize the apps in your drawer. The home screen menu is pretty cool, too. But unfortunately, themes don't work on this port. But yeah, be sure to check out my article over at that link. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.